Hi viewers, welcome everyone on behalf of Shankar Medical Academy. Okay, today we are going to see shortcut neat tricks in physics, right? Let us go for the chapter. So, in current electricity, we are going to see a shortcut trick. How we have to use the shortcut tricks in neat exam, right? Let's see the problem here. First, let us see how we are normally solving in conventional method and how we can apply the shortcut tricks. This is a circuit diagram. They are given a circuit diagram with two battery sources with 12 volt and 9 volt and another one 5 volt. Then they are given some resistors 5 ohm and 2 ohms. They ask you to find out the current flowing in this 5 volt battery. Okay, That is what they are asking. In this 5 volt, what is the current? Okay, So, options given, just see the options are 2 ampere, 1.4 ampere, 3.4 ampere and 0 ampere. So, now let us see how conversely we will solve. Okay, normally, if the circuit is given like this, we will go for Kirchhoff voltage law. That means mesh analysis or loop analysis. Okay. So, by that we are considering two loops, circuit 1 and circuit 2. Okay. That is a closed path is called loop. So, when you apply Kirchhoff voltage law in the loop 1, you can see that the voltage supply is 12 volt and 5 volt both are opposite that means polarity is opposite 12 minus 5 the total voltage here is 7 volt that is supplying voltage and the user of voltage or consuming voltage or voltage drop across this resistor this is the only one present in this circuit. So, voltage according to Ohm's law I into R so we can consider this current in this loop as I1 so this voltage is phi I1. Similarly, if you write the equation for the second loop, you can get there is two battery voltages 9 minus 5, the net voltage is 4 volt and across this 2 ohm resistor, your voltage is 2 into I2. Now, you have two equations, mathematically just to solve the two linear equation, you will end up with the answer I1 is equal to 1.4 amps, I2 equal to 2 amps and your final answer that is I. This I is nothing but addition of I1 and I2, right? Because this I1 and I2 are flowing such that they are in the same direction. So, your answer will be 3.4 ohm, right? To solve like this, you will take more than 2 minutes, okay? Let us see how we can easily solve this within fraction of second. So, the same circuit, okay? 12 volt, 5 volt, 9 volt is given and uh, resistance 5 ohm, 2 ohm is given and I we have to calculate. So, let us see, so this I is nothing but the current flowing in the junction, right, according to Kirchhoff's current law. So, if I know the current I1, I will take I2 and add those things, you will get the answer, right. So, how I can get that? Very simple. So, current I1 is nothing but current flowing through this resistor. So, current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor is voltage difference by this resistor. That means, 12 minus 5 by 5, 7 by 5. So, this current I1 is equal to 1.4 amps. Similarly, I2 that is the current flowing in the 2 ohm resistor, 9 volt, 5 volt, 9 minus 5 divided by resistor 2 ohms. So, 4 by 2 that is nothing but 2 amps. When you add these two, you will end up with the answer 3.4 ampere, that is your answer. So, within few seconds, we can easily get the answer for this circuit. 